Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year. This is the day the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so grateful to be uh, able to come over and share the word of God with us. This is uh, a wonderful, wonderful moment in the presence of God. I want to welcome everyone to be part of this service today. And uh, this is coming to you uh, from uh, Prestige uh, TV. This is a place whereby, you know, God has brought us together so that we may grow together and uh, encourage one another. And so I want to welcome each one of us today in this uh, beautiful, beautiful program. And I want to celebrate the wonders of God in this place. And so wherever place you're connected, I want you to just enjoy you know the presence of god enjoy the word of god the word of wisdom and i believe that god is going to speak to you god is going to lift up your spirit and your life will never be the same again glory to god and so i want us to just you know uh be in the presence of god and just love god for the new year this is the new year 2023 it's it's a blessed year i want to believe that god is going to really walk with you and so I just want us to go deeper and go deeper, 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 deeper. I want us to go deeper in the presence of God. And I, I believe that by the grace of God, your life and my life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. How many people know that our God is Alpha and Omega? Our God is the beginning and the end. Even as we begin this year, I want you to know that uh, He is the Alpha and He is the Omega. He is the beginning. Oh, glory to God. He is the first and the last. And so, I just want us to just bless Him and uh, give Him glory, give Him praise, give Him praise and uh, go straight to the Word. And I know that your life and my life will never be the same again. You are Alpha. You are Alpha. And Omega, we worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha, you are Alpha. And Omega, we worship you alone. we thank you and we bless your name today we give you glory we give you praise we give you honor thank you father for this new year thank you for 2023 oh god thank you for your love and mercy oh god thank you for carrying us through from last year up to the new year we celebrate your wonders and your goodness in our lives oh god we pray that lord as we get into this new year Lord, we pray that Lord God Almighty, let the blessings that comes in the month of January locate our lives. We pray, Father, even for this service that let your name be glorified. We disappear. I disappear, Father, that you may appear. I pray that Lord, give me the preaching power and give me the revelation to download, oh God, your word to your people and all the glory shall come back unto you. We bless you. We honor you because of the gift that you're giving to us today, the gift of salvation, the gift of your word, the gift of your son, Jesus. We celebrate you because of who you are. We dedicate this service to you. We pray, Father, let your power come down as we share in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are watching on Facebook and perhaps you'll be connecting later, I want you to be part of this service. I want you to talk to friends. I want you to share with the friends. Uh, you know, share with friends and uh, just share on WhatsApp, share on the YouTube and just go there and uh, do the necessary because, you know, it's good to share. Hallelujah. And when God speaks to you, I want you to just type him in. Type him in. Share, 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 share to, you know, to friends and uh, the Lord will bless your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, I want us to go to the word of God in uh, Philippians chapter number 3. 
Philippians chapter number 3 verse beginning from verse number 12 I read up to verse number 16 glory to God Philippians chapter number 3 verse number 12 I read up to verse number 16 this is what the word of God says not that I have already attained or I am already perfected but I press on mm, I love that but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me 13 brethren I do not count myself to have apprehended but one thing I do if that's your Bible you can underline but one thing I do is forgetting those things which are behind one thing I do is forgetting those things which are behind glory to God and reaching forward to those things which are ahead 14 the Bible says I praise towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus 15 therefore let us hallelujah therefore let us as many as are <clears throat> mature have this mind and if in anything you think otherwise glory to God God will reveal even this to you mm. nevertheless nevertheless to the degree that we have already attained let us walk by the same rule let us be of the same mind hallelujah I want us to look at the word of God and uh, because by the grace of God I believe that through this uh, platform Prestige TV I'll be coming to you every week and I want to lay a foundation as you listen to this word today and the topic of this foundation rather the series I want to build on is it all it all begins with God it all begins with God and on the subtitle of that I want to underline this by bringing it closer to you and begin to share with you this mind from God that one thing you need to do today is forget about the past forgetting about the past that is what I want to share on today may the Lord bless the word and may the Lord bless us as we be part of this service today now it is an interesting story about Paul Apostle Paul coming over and sharing his mind to the church in Philip in Philippians and he begins to share with them by telling them not that I have already attained or not that I'm already perfect not that I'm already attained not that I'm already perfected but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me then he goes to chapter verse number three and says brethren I do not count myself that's where I want us to start from brethren I do not count myself I do not count myself to have apprehended rather to have understood glory to God but one thing I do forgetting those things which are 
behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Glory to God. Now, we are in the new year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 2023. And if, even if I didn't go to school, 23 and 22 cannot be the same. That tells me that the calendar of God has changed. And the calendar is changing from, it has already changed from 2022 to 2023. And I want to believe that in this year, 2023, this is the moment that one has to forget about the past. You have to forget about yesterday, forget about what happened to your life 25 years ago when you were born what happened in your life last year what happened in your life five years ago and learn how to forget just forget about learn how to forget about the yesterday because you are in the new and you cannot start the new if you're still in the old glory to god you cannot start the new if you're still living in the old glory to god you cannot make a relationship in the old with your past and expect something powerful to come in the new you cannot mix the old wine skin with the new wine skin so that means that in life you must come to a place of confessing and making a declaration just like my senior apostle Paul mentioned and said one thing I do is forgetting about the past I know it is not easy my brother and my sister to forget about your past but like I said it all begins with God and if you really want it to begin with God in this year one of the keys that you need to hold this moment is to forget about your past forget about the bad things that happened to you I know you're, you're, you're listening to this word right now and there are bad things that happened to you oh glory to God there are these bad things that happened to you from your family. There are these bad things that happened to you in your relationship. Bad things that happened to you in your marriage. Bad things that happened to you, glory to God, in your community. And they happen to you and you feel like you cannot, you cannot let go. Now listen to me. It doesn't matter how bad it was. It doesn't matter how hurting the each was. It doesn't matter how hurting, how painful it was. I want to remind you that you are in the new season. And in the new season, the new year, you cannot be in the new year with the old things. You cannot be in the new year with the past. So you have to let go of the past. Just like Paul said, one thing I do is to forget about the past and press on towards the higher calling. So, even if last year you are not able to make it in life, you are not able to succeed, don't focus on the failures. Glory to God. Don't focus on the failures focus on God focus on the one who created you glory to God don't focus on the mistakes that you made hallelujah don't focus on the mistakes that you made forget about the mistakes forget about the mistakes that's why Paul had a revelation he says one thing I do Look at verse number 13. He says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but 
but one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind you must come to a place my brother and my sister a place of forgetting the things that are behind the behind things are not good because anything that is happening behind you you have no idea how bad that thing can drag your future how bad that thing can uh, can hinder your next dimension in life and so i came to tell somebody today this year in this month of january forget the past forget about the former things and focus to your future because your future is greater than your past don't dwell on so much on your past forget about the past the message is very simple forget about the past hallelujah forget about the past he says the past which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead so there is ahead in life there is always ahead and behind i don't know where you want to be but for me i want to be ahead i don't want to wait I, I don't want to be behind because behind things will tell you that you will never manage in life behind things will tell you you are good for nothing behind thing will tell you you are trying to get married in that wonderful wedding and no one in your family came to that place of congratulation behind things will tell you you cannot be congratulated oh glory to god but i came to announce to somebody today as you forget the past you're going to be celebrated this year you're going to be celebrated this year people will congratulate you why because you are in the new you must forget the past you need to press on towards the goal so there is a goal there is ahead of you there is the goal in your life do you know your goals paul had a goal and the call was to press on towards the calling of God in his life. What is your what is your goal? People don't know their their goals. You've started the year, but you even don't know your goals. You don't know the vision that God you don't you don't have a vision. You don't have the dreams. Every year, you know, come come, you know, all the years you've been talking about resolution resolution this is my new year's resolution but the resolution without goals you are doing nothing that's why i am coming to you in a simple language that you can understand that god wants you to have the goals but you cannot have goals if you're still living in your yesterday you cannot have goals if you're still living in uh, in 10 years ago you cannot have goals if you're still carrying your former things glory to god you cannot have goals you cannot be on purpose paul was on purpose paul was driven by purpose and so god is calling us to be driven by purpose because when you have the goal when you know that there is tomorrow there is future in my life when you know that i have a purpose in life when you know that you know god has called you god has set you apart you will not live in your yesterday glory to god you need to forget about the yesterday paul was very sure that one thing he did not say two things the problem is that you are starting the new year with two things it is very dangerous when you start the year with two things paul says one thing i do one thing i do is to forget about the past and focus on my future 
focus on the high calling. What is your calling? What is your goal today? Glory to God. What are you after? In this new year, what do you want God to do in your life? Glory to God. What do you want God to do in your life? You, do you have a vision? Do you have a dream? Do you have a plan? You cannot work on 2023 if you're still carrying people on your shoulders. You cannot cultivate 2023 if you're still carrying people. Glory to God. Forget about the past. Oh, forgetting is not easy. But I came to tell somebody, you have to forget. When Paul says, forget about the past, what, I was looking at this word, forget. What does it mean to forget about the past? When Paul says, forgetting about the past, what does it mean? Now listen to me. It means dismissing from the mind. You dismiss. You are dismissing something. There are some negative thoughts in your mind that you really need to dismiss because they were there in the previous year. You cannot walk in them. You cannot walk in the new year, 2023, with the same thoughts. You have to dismiss them. That, it, that, that's, that is the meaning of forgetting. You forget about the past. In other words, you dismiss from the mind. There are things I'm talking to you right now. You are connected with wherever place you are. You might be in town, maybe, maybe you're in the village, maybe you're watching across the nations. Listen to me, there are things that you've kept in your mind and the Lord wants you to dismiss them. There are things that you have to dismiss. Why is it that you're always sick? Why is it that you're always frustrated? Why is it that you're always on depression? Why is it that now the doctor have told you that you are facing, you are, you are suffering from ulcers? Reason, it is because you are still keeping some things in your spirit. I am coming to you with an apostolic grace to decree to you that it is about time. Look at the season where you are. Look at the timings of God in your life. You cannot carry the 2022 in 2023 you have to dismiss forget about evil thoughts that comes into your mind that tells you you're just good for nothing glory to god the word forgetting it also means not paying the attention there are things my brother and my sister my fellow viewer you should never pay attention to them don't pay attention to people that are causing pain in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Don't pay attention to people that are messing up with your life. In other words, forget about them. Dismiss those people. The people that are causing bitterness in your life. Don't pay attention to such people. There are issues in life that makes you feel like you are just a nobody. You are just, you know, you will never make it in life. Listen to me. Don't pay attention. In other words, don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. Forget about it. It also means when when you're forgetting something, it means it means stop. You are stopping to dwell on something so much. I'm talking to somebody right now. You have been in that relationship for about five years. And you are still holding on it. And you are like, I don't want to let it go. You feel like, no, it's going to work. But the surroundings can tell you that you are going nowhere. Let me talk to somebody. There are people you walk with and your life will change completely in a negative way.
and there are also people you work with and in a positive way your life will change automatically if you're working with some people this is a free advice i'm giving you if you're working with people that pass you that listen we cannot manage we cannot succeed in this area we cannot succeed in this community we cannot succeed in this town if they failed that is not your problem hallelujah and so to forget it means to stop dwelling on something that has failed you again and again that is why paul had a revelation and he said one thing i do is forget about the past and to focus i want to declare to some to, to you somebody today by the grace of god invested in my life that whatever thing that was a hindrance in your life in the previous year this year as you forget about that thing the power of god and the glory of god and the anointing of god is going to touch your life and you're going to begin afresh in this new year and the glory of god will take you to places you've never gone because there is power when you forget about the past you dwelling on the past so much your grandmother was a wicked in the village now she told you something negative now you are dwelling on that your grandpa told you something now you're dwelling on that listen to me child of god god wants you to forget about the former things forget about the past and focus on your future now to win the rest a runner must dismiss every destruction we've all seen good men running from kenya when they go for the wild you know athletics when they go for the competition one thing that comes out from the mind of a runner is that they must dismiss every distraction from the mind and so i want to talk to you my brother and my sister god wants you to dismiss every every distraction that comes in your mind the distraction that tells you that you you many have tried the same business and they never it never worked for them hallelujah the the distraction that tells you that you can never make it in life the distraction that tells you that the vision that you have it is too big that you need a million dollar for you for the vision to work the distraction that tells you many have tried and they failed you must dismiss the distractions i declare to you with an apostolic anointing let the power of god touch your life right now in that house in that business where you are right now you are driving home and the power of god is right where you are you're you're watching facebook live right now the glory of god is coming upon your life to dismiss the distractions in your mind let your mind be renewed the runners when they are running <coughs> they dismiss every distraction i pray that in this year 2023 may the lord give you the grace to dismiss every distraction in your life to dismiss every distraction in your mind let your mind be renewed by the word of god let your mind be renewed by the spirit of god let your mind be renewed by the power of God. Hallelujah. Do not be conf confronted by the things of this world. Paul comes to a place in Romans chapter 12 and he says, Let us, he says, he's, Give yourself to God as a living sacrifice. 
give yourself. I beseech you. Paul says, I beseech you, brothers and sisters, by the grace of God, present your bodies, present yourself to God as a living sacrifice. Glory to God. Present your mind. Present your spirit. Present your heart. Present your walk with God as a living sacrifice to him. God is looking for people that are saying this year 2023 I don't want to waste my time in the past. I don't want to waste my time my precious time in the past. I want to present my life to God as a living sacrifice. Listen to me. And Paul says, and do not be conformed by the standards of this world. Let your mind be renewed because this is a true worship unto God. It is a true worship unto God. Now listen to me. Don't let anything behind you interfere with your present progress. I'm talking to somebody right now. You are listening to this word. I want you to know that God wants you in this year never to dwell in your past. Don't let you, don't let anything behind. Anything behind is dangerous. Let me repeat this again in the language that you can understand. Anything that is behind you is dangerous. That is why with the apostolic grace in my life i have changed the statement many have said that every successful man there is always a successful woman behind i am changing that statement because we are in the new year let me give you a revelation every successful man there is always a successful woman beside but not behind because the behind things are dangerous when somebody wants to kill you will come from behind because when they come in front of you you will see them when they come beside you'll be able to see and so i'm changing that that statement from today in the new year every successful man there is always a successful woman beside but not behind that's why Paul says, one thing I do is to forget about the past and the things behind. Don't let anything behind you interfere with your present progress or the future efforts. How, can you imagine, my brother and my sister, you wake up in the morning with all the efforts, hallelujah. With all the efforts, with the wheelbarrows and with the bicycle and the motorbikes and uh, you're a driver and you're walking, waking up very early in the morning. You're going to walk and you're praying, you know, you are praying effectively. But after all, the behind things comes. Hallelujah. The behind things comes to bring you down. I pray that in this anointing, everything that has been behind you may the power of God may the power of God bring the behind things down in the name of Jesus don't let every anything behind you interfere every kind of any interference in your life this can be in your business this can be in your career this can be in your relationship this can be in your vision this can be in your dreams. This can be in your academics. This can be in your family. Everything that, that has been behind you, interfering with the progress of God in your life, I declare today, they are defeated in Jesus' name. Now, I declare to you today that your present progress and your future efforts will not be interfered. Why? Because your you are you are you are you are connected you are connected to the word of god and the word of god is forget about the past 
forget about your former things. Forget about the things that are behind. That is why you hear people say, you know, backbiting. They backbite because they are doing that at the back of your mind. Behind you. God is saying, just as the runners, they will always run. Run towards Paul says something very interesting right here. Paul says, Hallelujah. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 9, verse number 25. Paul says, He compares an athlete's crown to the believers, to the believers' internal price. Everyone who competes in the game goes into the strict training. I know you have been in a game somewhere. You've been in a competition. And competition is a competition. There is no, there is no other way. Competition, my brother and my sister, it is a competition. So you have to win. Glory to God. And so everybody that goes to that they have to go through a strict training in their life. And when the athletics, they are training, the sports guys are training to go for the marathon. They are given strict trainings. They are told what to do. They are told what to do. That is why Paul where we just read in Philippians chapter number 3 and verse beginning from verse number 15 he says therefore let us as many as are mature have this mind and if any, anything you think otherwise God will reveal even this to you nevertheless to the degree that we have already attained let us by the same rule it's all about rules. Hallelujah. It's all about getting right in the rule. And the rule is the word of God. Whatever God said, forget. Brother and sister, forget. And so, he says in uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 25, they run because they have their own crown. And the crown is for a short time. But for us, glory to God. For we do it to get the everlasting crown. But for us, the righteous, the people that belongs to God, the people that belongs in the household of believers, we run not because we want to gain gold not because we want to get the crown of this world but we are running the rest because there is an eternal crown that is why you cannot run for the eternal crown and you are still living in your past and a time the crown is about to be given to you. Listen to me. The, the past will always come and accuse your future. The past will always come and accuse your future. It will always come and accuse your now and accuse your future. And tell you, you will never make it in life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so... How many people want to receive the crown internally? How many people want to receive the crown internally? One of the things that you need to do is to forget about the past and run the rest. Run the rest with endurance and you will see the manifestation of God in your life in 2023. Now, few things that we need to learn for us to forget about the past. Point number one is that learn from the past but don't dwell on your past. 
Learn from them. Oh my God. There are things that you have learned from the past. But I'm not giving the key to dwell on your past. The problem is that many people are learning from the past, yes. But they still dwell on the past. I pray today that cocoon, that, that basket of keeping things, the record of bad things that you are dwelling on, I pray today that it's breaking, it's breaking down right now in the name of Jesus because we learn from the past but we should never dwell on the past. Ask yourself, why do I dwell on the past anyway? Because the past will always bring images that will frustrate my life images that will tell me that you know because I never went to school so my children will never go to school because I never stepped in the university you know my children will never go to the university the past will tell you that the past will tell you you know you know going to school is just nothing listen to me you have to shake off shake off shake off the limits shake off the past and don't dwell on them i pray today that you will not dwell on your past in jesus mighty name the other thing is that we learn that for you to forget about your past you must stop pointing fingers what do i mean stop pointing fingers the fingers you're pointing on people in terms of blaming blaming others do you know that when you blame others it prevents you from going forward when you blame others oh my god wake up in the morning and the only thing the only thing you can do is to blame others you wake up in the morning and you are, you are the you are the blaming guy you are so you are so handsome but you are full of blames you are so beautiful but everything oh glory to god you are so beautiful but you are always pointing fingers on people you are always a careless there is nothing that comes in your mouth that is positive everything to you is is negative 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 listen to me stop complaining stop blaming others because that prevents you from going forward ah oh, this year god bless me this year i want to do peace this year i want to go to this place this year i want to meet so and so this year i want to do a business this year i want to get married this year i want to go to we and all those things god bless you they are very good but you will not see the success of all the plans that you have if you are still pointing fingers on people blaming others you have to forget about it for how many times have you been blaming others you know blaming others you blame blame your mother blame your father blame your brothers blame your sisters blame your new neighbor you even blame your new neighbor you've just shifted <laughs> you're blaming your new neighbor blame the government listen to me kenyans kenyans sometimes we complicate everything sometimes we complicate everything not just kings christians the house of faith we complicate everything to instead of speaking positive things in our nation we speak negative things oh crisis oh economy oh unga oh government you are not doing this you are not doing this you are not doing that to me you are not doing this if this was like this maybe this could have been like this my question is you are asking the government to help you 
What have you helped the government with? Blaming? Blaming? All the time? Stop pointing fingers. To the leaders that God has appointed. Because there are people that are in office right now and God appointed them. Listen to me. If you want to see the blessings of God, if you want to see the power of God, the favor of God in your life in this year 2023, stop pointing fingers on the leaders that God has ordained. Stop pointing fingers on the men of God and the, the, the generals that God has appointed. Stop pointing fingers on your mothers and your fathers. There is something wrong in our generation. And people don't care. They don't care. Listen to me. If you are in that category of people that are pointing fingers, blaming others, just know that business is the one that is preventing you from going forward. It is a business you are doing. You are doing a transaction. You are, uh, you are doing a transaction. You are in business because you are exchanging the ideas with the devil. So you are in business. The more you do it, the more you get the profit. And the profit is you will never move forward. The devil is always very happy when he sees you stagnant. When he sees you crying 24-7. When he sees your house is locked. Oh, you've not paid your house. The whole of December, it's January. The devil is clapping his hands. Why? Because he wants you to be right there. Stop pointing fingers. There are people you walk with. There will be a blessing to you. There are people you walk with. God wants you to keep distance from them. But you have to stop pointing fingers because when you point fingers, it prevents you from going forward. Stop complaining. Also, one of the things that will help you to overcome it, to overcome your past, is when you spend time with positive people uh, listen to me my brother and sister I don't know where you are right now I don't know, I don't know the people you're hanging around with but I have to declare to you without fear of contradiction that the blessings that will come to your life this year will determine the kind of people you're walking with and so if you spend time with positive people oh you're going to be positive if you spend time with worshipers you are going to be a worshiper if you spend time with the, the prayer warriors you are going to be a prayer warrior if you spend time with the lazy people you're going to be a lazy person you will be sleeping up to 11 a.m and you wake up and uh, you, you are throwing your legs on that sufferia and you don't have anything to eat and your children are asking daddy where is food because you're walking with the lazy people when you walk if you walk when you walk with a lazy person you become lazy when you walk with a thief you become a thief are you getting me somebody and so Spend time with positive people. People that will encourage you. People that will tell you, Oh, this is good. You're going to make it. Last year was tough, but I know that this year, Oh, this year you're going to make it. People that will, when you go to them and you're crying, you're crying, crying, and they'll begin to worship with you and join up with you say our God is, on, is an awesome God those are the people that you need to walk with hallelujah spend time with positive people please check on your list check on check, check your circle 2023 check your circle check 
you are psycho. Don't just hook up with everybody, you know. Everybody is your friend. My friend, listen to me. Friendship is by choice. I'm talking to you with apostolic grace. Friendship is by choice. Spend time with positive people. Hallelujah. Somebody that tells you there are no jobs in Kenya, then you say, okay. There are no good men for marriage. Okay. There are no good women for marriage. Okay. Then, then you put your head like, okay, 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 okay. What is okay to you? Hello, somebody. What is okay to you? Spend time with people that will hold your hands and begin to pray in the spirit and begin to call heavens down. Spend time with time with people that will tell you, brother, let us commit this issue before God. Spend time with people that are positive. Swipe out negative thoughts. Swipe out negative thoughts in your life. Swipe it away completely. This year, I came to clean your mind. I came to wash your brain. I came to clean your mind. To, to, to let your mind be clean. Let your mind be washed. You cannot start the new year with the same things you are doing last year. You cannot do the same thing and expect, you know, a different result in your life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm talking to somebody right now. Glory to God. Whom do you hang up around with? Whom do you walk with? Who is your friend? Who is who is in your box? Who is in your circle? Listen to me. If the people in your circle are always behind you, they're always behind you. They're always behind you. Believe me not. They will not congratulate you. They will not congratulate you. Behind people will never congratulate you. That is why I am giving you a word of counsel. Spend time with positive people and swipe out negative thoughts in your mind. Focus on the present. Hallelujah. Focus on the present. Paul said, one thing I do. One thing I do. Hallelujah. There is that one thing that you need to do. He says, one thing I do is to forget about the past and focus. Hallelujah. To forget about the past. Forgetting about the past is not easy. Those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things that are ahead. There is your now life. Your now life cannot be in a mess. Your now life needs to be cleansed. Needs to be cleansed. That's why Paul had a revelation. He said one thing I do is to focus on the future. Focus on the present. Embrace the present. And keep yourself active. There are people I'm talking to right now. You don't know how to enjoy your moments. Enjoy the moments that God has given you. When I'm talking to you right now. Oh yeah. I'm enjoying my moments. Oh yeah. Glory to God. I'm enjoying the moments. I know where God has taken me from. I'm enjoying the moments in the presence of God. Focus on your present. On your present. Embrace the present. Keep yourself active. The problem is that if you're not keeping yourself active, you are not keeping yourself active. You are not active. That means you are inactive. You are not functioning. You are alive but you are dead. Oh my goodness. That is why the people that dwells in their yesterday and in the last 20 years, you know, you are 
only 27 years old but you look as if you are 87 years why because you <laughs> listen to this there are people that are 30 years old right now okay let me repeat the statement you are 30 years old but you look like you are in your 80s why because you only lived 30 years 30 years 30 years of being alive but the rest of your life is living in your past now when you are living that way it is very dangerous that is why the lord is saying focus on the present forget about the past forget about what happened 15 years ago forget about what happened if i tell you oh my god if i tell you what happened to me the last five years ago you will not believe if i tell you what happened to me the last 20 years ago you will not believe hallelujah but i'm not well i learned from them but i'm not dwelling on them and so i am focusing on my present what is the lord saying in your now the now do you have the now moments with you the now moments is your faith now working is your vision now working is your prayer now working is your believing god now working do you enjoy the moments that you have there are people you are listening to me right now you are living a duplicated life you are living a photocopied life and that is not in the will of god you are living a photocopied life and it is not in the will of god for you to live a photocopied life a duplicated life you are supposed to be an original you the original you there is no one like robinson there is no one like john there is no one like agnes there is no one else like eunice you are an original you your past will always tell you that you are not original uh, can i talk these things your past will always tell you that you are not original because of where you are because of the things that are happening in your life in your family now you're not original listen you are fearful and wonderful made you are created in the image of god the father and so you are not a duplicate you are an original you and so what you need to do is to focus on your present and press the present keep yourself active and enjoy the moment that god has given you fix your eyes on god how many people are saying that oh god i want to forget about the past i have dwelt so much on my yesterday i i have dwelt so much on the things that never worked in my previous year this year i want to focus on god i want to focus on god i want to focus on my future i want to focus on my career i want to focus on my ministry i want to focus god you spoke to me that i will touch nations it doesn't matter whether i try to apply for the visa many nations and i was denied i know for sure that this time round the lord god almighty is going to be with me and i am focusing on my present life because there is the now life that I need to live active the now life that I need to focus hallelujah schools are about to open brothers and sisters focus on what God is going to do in your life focus on the provision that God is going to release to your life don't focus on the failures listen to me the message of today is a simple message you cannot move forward 
in 2023 effectively if you're still holding your past if you're still holding the pains if you're still holding grudges oh if you're still holding people you are carrying people on your shoulders Jesus said come to me all who are heavy laden and I'll give you rest he wants to give you rest there are people I'm talking to oh you're still carrying what happened in 2020 2020 June to you you're still carrying it on your shoulders you came along with in 2021 you came along with in 2022 now it is in the new year January you are still carrying the baggage listen cast your burdens unto Jesus for he cares for you forget about the past forget about the opinions of men cast your burdens unto the Lord you're right there and uh, you have been together with us in this service connected on prestige TV and you're listening you have been blessed and you know for sure there is something called enmity with God there is something called sin in your life there is something called not being born again in your life there is something called I miss salvation in my life there is something called I don't have a relationship with my father and you're saying man of God I really want to receive Jesus as my personal savior I don't I don't I don't you know I don't care where I am I want to give my life to Jesus I want to lead you to a prayer of salvation I bring this article to you so that you don't say I never heard it the Bible says that anyone if anyone being a Christ Jesus the old has gone behold the new has come I bring you a message of salvation right now a message of salvation this is the greatest miracle that you can ever have in this year 2023 a message of salvation if you have not given your life to Jesus you are saying this is my moment this is the hour this is the time this is my year this is my month this is my week this is my day repeat this prayer after me so with me Lord Jesus I come before you today I confess my sins I am a sinner Lord Jesus you died for me you died on the cross that I may live today I say bye bye to the things of this world I say bye bye to the things of this world and today I receive Jesus as my personal savior my father and my God write my name in the book of life and delete my name in the book of hell write my name Abba Father in the eternal book from today I receive you Jesus as my personal savior in the name of Jesus I am born again today and I am a child of God in Jesus name I pray and believe Shout amen if you pray that prayer. You can just type amen right there. And if you are not going to church anywhere, I want you to find the church. I'm not saying that you come to my church. And if you're within Gashi, you can always find me. You can always reach out to me. And I will direct you to where we fellowship. And the Lord will bless your life. But if you're not within Gashi, 
in Kiambu County. Maybe you are internationally watching, globally watching. You've never gone to church. The whole of last year you went, you never went to church. You prayed that prayer of salvation, prayer of confession. I want you to look for a Bible believing church. Bible believing church. Go there, present yourself to the priest and let the priest know that you are born again and you want to walk with Jesus. The Bible says, and for those who received him, he gave them power to become the children of God. And so from today, you are a child of God. As I come out of this place, I want to speak a blessing over your life. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for all my viewers today. I pray for every need. I pray for every prayer item that has been brought forth. I pray for them. I pray for every request right now. Lord, I know that we are coming to the opening of schools and all back to school and many things are happening. I pray for the, that brother and that sister. And I pray that Lord may open doors for them. I pray for the miracle to happen. And I decree that Lord God Almighty, let your will and let your purpose prevail. Help us to forget about the past because it all begins with you when we forget about the past. It all begins with you when we forget about the past. I bless you, Father, and I thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for your word. Thank you for using me. Thank you for the men behind the cameras. Thank you, O oh God. Bless them and bless this prestige TV as we grow together. In Jesus' name, we pray, we believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, God bless you all. God do you good. This was Apostle Robinson. And this is coming to you live from Campbell County, Gachie. And together, let us grow together. Let us grow together. This is Prestige TV. Not forgetting men on the microphones, men on the camera, you know, Don and your team. God bless you, man, for the great work you're doing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord do you good in Jesus' name. Let's meet again next week, same time, same channel. Don't change the channel. This is a place that we are going to grow together. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, grow together. Let us grow together. Forget the former things. Forget the past. God bless you. Until we meet again sometime. Shalom, shalom. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom. Prestige TV, always watched, admired, and respected.